Mbantu.com to the stage. Give him a round of applause.
For the law competitions, there is no other open web company in Indonesia, for example. We also have good relationship with a lot of uh, suppliers, agencies, where uh, we can also leverage on this. Stephen, you're looking to a $1 billion startup tonight, you get one here. Now show me $1 billion questions. Actually, I was looking for someone who built this business model before, oh, so okay. I had been on your website. So I was one of the 300,000 people. Okay. So I've seen it before. So one of the things I was actually wondering when I was on your, I was on both the English and the, the Indonesian version. You have chosen the name MadeMarket.com, but you have maids, gardeners, drivers, so many things. Why have you chosen the name? The, the, the name is sexy. If you put uh, when I say workers.com, people will not uh, probably like it. But if you take say Mad Market or Bato.com, easy to remember because when you make Max, you're looking for a market, right? And you are a marketplace as well. So the name is well chosen. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. Okay. so one of the things so I was one of the three hundred thousand people that was on the website. Thank you. But I was not one of the members who kind of converted to then going through. So, and I guess a lot of people will just, I don't know, was the members the people who signed up then? Is, uh, yeah. is that the interpretation of member? Yeah, among uh, 300,000, only 11,000 have signed up. And that means uh, there are issues we have to solve. One of the issues is trust. This is new here. And people think, what is this? How to get this? Are they worried about security, for example? What we need to do is we need to uh, do uh, national campaigns, introductions to the whole nations so that they, they think that you are reputable. And we also have a few tools in there that we put in to make sure that people uh, get uh, security with the banks. So it takes some time to comfort more of the visitors to become to become the members. Because uh, as I said, uh, traffic to marketplace is not the same like traffic to news feed or blogs. People come to marketplace to do business. That's uh, something very valuable to comfort uh, going forward. Uh, uh, what is the... What is the typical complaint that you receive from your customer? Yeah, well, so the typical companies that come to us, some makes run away, some makes uh, don't perform, some, I mean, you, you know all of this, right? <laughs> and especially the Lebaran, they, they, they wear the Lebaran and then they never come back. <laughs> Actually, that's how they make money. It's because the agency will take uh, I mean, the bank and just give it another one. They're making money out of it. So, the best way to protect yourself in that case is when you look at the contracts, you make sure that you are well protected, and also more importantly, make sure that the agencies are reputable agencies. So do you have like a reputation score on the agencies and the regular place as well? Uh, Shaili, we, we don't have a specific scoring system, but what we do is we monitor the activities of every single agency. If they are school, we, we, we will give them warning, one, two, and then we just black blacklist. Uh, these guys how, the how do you overcome the problem when after I hire the man from the agency, I contact the agency directly? Yes, yes. Uh, sorry, are you asking how? How, how do you overcome the problem? Uh, the problem we just discussed. What, what, what we did is uh, make sure that every single agency that come and register with us are good agencies. That's the first step. So, so I, I think he's asking like uh, if the customer goes directly to the main agency to... Yes, yes, they should. I mean, that's the way marketplace works. Once they register and they, they become a member, they pay the nine dollars I mentioned. Then they will have access, full access to the uh, to the agencies. They can call, they can BBM, WhatsApp, etc. That's how it works. Jay, question. So good evening, coming to Singapore. Oh, thank you. So Singapore is a big market uh, because uh, they don't have met inside Singapore. They're coming from Indonesia. They're coming from Pakistan, from uh, the Philippines. So very okay, So do you have the the receiving end? The main services will ask for the service from you? Uh, yes, uh, we have a lot of requests like that because uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, Malaysia is short of banks. In Malaysia, for example, 200,000 families are on the waiting list to get the banks. It's a very big market. This is a very good market to, to consider for investment, actually. So, which is harder to find the agency or the banks? Uh, more difficult to find, no, not to kill the banks. We're looking for agencies who have banks. Okay. Supply is strong at the moment. It's difficult to find banks. That means uh, less limited supply of banks. 
So it's, uh, it's more important and more difficult to get the max. Yeah. Have you been thinking about cutting out the agencies and build the marketplace for uh, end users we, and mates directly? We, we thought about that, but the model did not work uh, at its best because we're not a uh, marketplace anymore. We become the competitors. One, we are seen as competitors to them, they just go away. They do not work with us. So the best uh, place to take is like Alibaba.com. Sorry, they are the ones who are running the marketplace just like we are. They are, one, they are worth 150 billion US dollars. What is it doing? Just like us, a marketplace, connecting people for goods and services. How about the labor marketplace? There is no labor marketplace in the world. So, what's next? After this uh, market.com, we don't, we don't stop with uh, domestic workers. Why stop there? We are expanding, we are taking more factory workers, other workers, construction workers, and develop for the bigger marketplace in the world. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs>